Let's wrap this up so I can get Connected out of here. Connected to Hypernet. Choose an equipment set for the battle. Hello world, it's me, Emery G, and welcome back to Hyper Universe. Now we're just doing our daily mission and unique equipment, unique equipment quest of Lin. So yeah, in the previous video, I noticed that we were having trouble with our health, so we'll try to use this lifesteal set. So it includes the boots and curse sword and the four unique equipments. So the reason I used curse sword is because usually Lin, usually Lin's health. Um, falls a bit below um, I think it was 25% below 50 and below 25 so yeah usually our health is around those levels so with that we could um, activate our cursor ability since yeah our, ma our I think, mana battery uses up our health so yeah we could put our health at a we could activate cursed sword at a controlled situation because we can decide when we can put our health at a at the level of 25 or 50 percent by spamming soul battery hopefully it works It's kind of dangerous though because even though we know that Lin usually has low H um, usually has low HP, we're even putting more um, risk by using cursed swords, which has the penalty of having negative um, what do you call that having permanent debuffs to your stats. Whenever you die, Enemy so yeah, escape. this kind of it's gonna be a bit tricky. Hopefully, we won't die. So far with lifesteal boots we could easily regain our health because as we keep spamming mana battery um, where's my goal? to regain our mana. Oh wait, she did not die? But she died. Oh. Can't wait to get the curse sword. Test, really test out if it works with Lin. And he died. Nice. So yeah, if you've noticed, um, the test speed does not work that well with Lin because 
her enhanced mana box are based on her um what do you call this? Excuse me. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Her max her mana bolts are based on the number of times you attack, so every time you attack it consumes I think 5% of your mana, so if you have um, increasing attack speed you'll be consuming a lot of your mana and you don't have enough mana to sustain that. Yeah, this mana bolts. Um, where is that? Consumes five mana plus five percent of max mana when attacking. So yeah, if you have increased attack speed, you'll be shooting a lot of arrows and consuming a lot of mana. And your mana battery does not reduce its cooldown. I mean, its cooldown is only affected by unique equipments. So yeah, you can't. Rely on your wait, 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 wait. Can't rely on your mana batteries to sustain it if you have very. Ah, you're dead. Can't rely on your mana battery to sustain your increase in attack speed. Someone's coming. <clears throat> oh look, we have our curse sword. So it would activate whenever we um, my gold? whenever our health is around 50 or 25%. So let's see if it really works. It helps us stay alive.
Enemy in Allied inner defense has been weak. Um, if he's not ready, he's off! Wait, let's go down. Oh shoot! I wasn't able to dash out of it because I was being knocked back by Arsenal. Mm, okay, this is not good. So now we have the max health. We have the death penalty of having max health minus 15 and move speed minus 10. Yeah, look, um, the good thing with this set is, is that we have a lot of life steal, so we won't have trouble regaining our health. I'm dead. That wasn't smart. Okay, um... Happened to our health. What the? Wait, so we died twice. That means we have penalty of 
10 max health and wait 100 yeah, max health and minus 20 movement speed okay enemy engaged you're dead and you are too rage quit whoa no Okay, let's push. Nice. Let's break this. Let's go to the lower lane. Watch out. Enemy engaged. I'm dead. We got that kill, but uh, uh, unfortunately, we got killed in the process. So now we got 150 max H minus 150 max HP and minus 30 move speed. I guess I was being too overconfident with my life steal. Because there are times when you think that you could out damage your opponents by regaining your health, but there are times where, yeah, it really does not work that much. Oh well. We're just here to test the equipments. We're not trying to be the best, but we're here to test the equipments out to see if it really works on. Hypers, which one works and which one doesn't. So yeah, even though that curse sword um, feels nice when it's paired with Lin because she can easily regain her health, but I don't think it really is necessary. Oh shoot, I'm about to die again. Man. Signal is very dead. Wow, it, as you, did you just see that? How much lifesteal I did? Just with that um, one map minion cluster. I just regained my health to max. So yeah, we got a lot of life steal in this build. Wait. Wait. But yes, you sometimes die easily. Though I am confident that this build can easily solo the invader and other minions. See? Not even breaking the sweat. Okay. 
Let's try to ambush someone. I think someone's about to die. Enemy engaged. There it is. Oh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to kill. Miss! Oh, oh, oh. Out for signal. Wow! Wow, that life skill. Did you see did you just see that? I could outheal the turret. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the heal. Yeah, he's stuck. So yeah, um, the nice the nice thing with this one is that you got an insane life steal cap. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. See ya! Bye!